throw out a couple of, I want to make sure I capture it. So um, for those of you who want to be doing mobile, uh, Corona has got uh, a license on the promotions page, and a representative from Corona will be here tomorrow. Uh, is just going to come in and check in with everybody. And uh, I told him that I, I don't try to force tools on people, but there's a lot of tool vendors who are sponsors. And this one happens to have a regional representative who's willing to come in and drop in on us and start relationships. So uh, Corona uses Lua as its code base, and, and it has hooks into C. And uh, it has um, a virtual mobile device as part of the dev kit. And so the full dev kit is available for download, so that's their plug. I'm trying to remember what other uh, mobile. I'm actually, I'm using one called uh, Codea on my iPad, uh, or Codea, as we would might say it in, in, in uh, unaccented English. Um, it also uses Lua, and I can program directly on the iPad and, uh, and execute on the iPad itself. Uh, so that's kind of sweet. Uh, so if those are the, just to throw some ideas your way if you wanted to do mobile. In addition, there is another Global Game Jam international sponsor that has got uh, 3D and maybe 2D assets uh, that are uh, available. Um, we checked the promotions page. I might need to give you a code. If, for those of you who are hurting for artists or hurting for art, uh, it would be wonderful to just use your own art developed here. But if you're in a pitch and you want to try to get access to it, um, hit me up and we'll try to make sure that you have access to that, uh, that resource that's online as well. Uh, there are a bunch of other, um, I'm trying to think. I'll give you my list of my sites that have art and stuff. So we've got a big list of just like places that have art and music that are either open source or uh, open license. Absolutely. We'll so have I'll to, give that we'll, to you before, I think. We'll have to live, build a list so we yeah. can, we can yeah. Um, so uh, Erica has a, a list of Maya sites that have open access art. Well, more than just, I've got 2D, 3D sound, everything. 2D, 3D sound, <laughs> everything. Um, the, um, oh shit, now I forgot where I was going. Oh, Game Maker, uh, four people who are going to be making their game in Game Maker here, uh, has a license. Uh, Unity, four people who will be using Unity here, has a license that also includes mobile deployment. Uh, and so we've been asked not to deploy the, the code widely, only to the people who are actually going to be using it. Um, the, um, and there's a couple of others. I think Autodesk will also have some sweetness in the promotions package. So at the globalgamejam.org slash promotions is the detail of all who have something to offer. <coughs> and then if some of them I need to help you unlock. Yes, Dylan? I was just going to shout out on that note. For anybody using Unity, I highly, as I'm sure you know, recommend the Unity Asset Store. I will personally be downloading some stuff from there. But there's great tools on there to make your workflow great, and uh, just art assets and stuff. So definitely, if you're in Unity, check out the Unity Asset yeah, Store. Yeah, some of them are free. Some of them cost money, but some of them yeah. are free. So. Yeah. And just about anything you can think of is on there, seriously. Yeah. All right, so I think that that's, that's it for tonight in terms of uh, formal programming. Uh, we're right at uh, 20 minutes to 9. I'm going to hit the hay at about 10, and then Jeff will be on for the night shift, and I will hand him my phone. The doors are now locked. Uh, the alarms are not on yet because I need to key those back on, and maybe I won't. I don't know. I, I, if, if I turn them on, then we will know when the door has been propped open. And that... That is our security, right? We have two, two measures of security. I didn't do a whole lot of, uh, of promo to the press, so we have security through obscurity. Not a lot of people know we're here. Um, and the other security measure is keeping those doors closed and being able to recognize who wants in. And so it's OK if another one of your teammates steps out and you open the door for them. I'm OK with that. I just want to make sure that we know who we are and who we let in. And don't be afraid to ask if you don't recognize somebody, you know, hello, how are you? Who are you and how can I help you? What's the password? Uh, the password is heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't know the password, yeah. kick them kick them hard. Uh, I, I anticipate that our campus safety officers will do a walkthrough uh, sometime later this evening, and they will. And I've asked them to do an additional walkthrough during the day uh, tomorrow and Sunday. Um, they, they might just come in and be curious and, uh, and just sort of walk around and make sure everybody's okay. 
Um, we have people who are under 21 here. We can't have beer or any alcoholic beverages on the premises. If you want to have a beer to relax, you have to do it at the bar, and, uh, but not here. Um, that in order to enable that to happen, I would have to have a whole new layer of security paradigms. And so please uh, respect that. If you're going to the bar, tell us too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, coffee, tea, uh, drinks on the, car, on, on the cement and uh, here should be all right. The only thing with this floor is no heavy, sharp objects dropped. <laughs> um, and then uh, no food or drinks on the carpet, please. And then have fun, work hard, and I can't, can't wait to play your games. Thank you, guys. Thank you.